Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fresh autumn winter uh, fall look and it's mainly going to be focusing on the eyes and how you can pair them with lots of different lip colours through autumn, transitioning from summer to autumn to winter and just to name but a few so you can get an idea of what, what it would look like. Um, so this is my final lip colour and my favourite. Um, if you want to see lots of different lip colours, how they would look, then please keep watching to the end of this video. And yeah, let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a mix of two foundations. Um, I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1W2 Sand and the shade um, Light in the CC Cream from Sleek. Um, the reason I'm using the Double Wear is because it lasts really well, it's full coverage and I need this to last, especially in hot situations like heat and stuff, and this is just one of the best. So, yeah. I'm also going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This has also been dampened um, and it's obviously as you can sell, sell, you can sell, <laughs> you can tell it's tripled in size. So to conceal any under eye darkness or any blemishes you might have, I'm just going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Of course, like all my videos, just use what you've got and what works for you. Um, I just really like it playing with lots of different products and mixing, mixing, mixing and matching them up. So yeah, this is in the shade Vanilla Light 2. I'm going to take the Real Techniques Contour Brush to blend this in. I'm also then going to take my YSL um, Illuminating Touch highlighter pen and just pop this in like a bit of a V where you would highlight your face. So the reason I conceal first is because this doesn't act as a concealer. It's purely like a highlighter illuminator. Again, I'm just going to take my Real Techniques contour brush and just blend this in. I'm just going to pop some lip balm on my lips because they are feeling rather dry. <laughs> okay, so the next step for me is to go in with some kind of highlighter. Um, I can mix and match liquid ones and powder ones, but today I'm gonna use a liquid one because I want this to be a super fresh, um, awesome look, full look. So I'm gonna take Topshop's Glow um, Polished Highlighter and just dab this in the places just where we put the highlighter. All these places will just help to really make your bone structure look absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we do want to set the area where we're going to be powdering with a little bit of setting powder of some kind and just maybe a little bit underneath the eyes as well if you need to. So I'm just going to take this one from L'Oreal, it's their Nude Magic BB Powder. I like this one because it doesn't fully mattify the skin. So I'm just going to put a bit on the cheeks where I'm going to put any blusher or bronzer. Um, and I'm also going to take a little bit underneath the eyes with my Real Techniques accent setting brush thing. <laughs> okay, so I recently was lucky enough to get sent this by Benefit. It's their Havana blush. Um, and I love this. It's basically, if you've seen my vlog, you'll have seen me mention it. But it's just a collage of lots of different blush shades and it's just beautiful. I think it's a perfect colour for this autumn fall transition. And I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blush brush to apply this, kind of swirl all the colours together and then just apply this to the cheeks. And then sort of bring it up. And that gives you that really pretty kind of flush. So I just primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Today we're going to be using the Makeup Revolution Eye Palette in Iconic 2. Um, I like this one because it has quite a good selection of cool, autumny, winter kind of tones. And I don't want to make this eye look anything super dramatic because it's all going to be emphasised on the lips. So the first shade I'm going to take in this palette is this one here. This is just the plain matte sort of blending transition shade. And I'm just going to pop this in my crease. Now I'm just going to take the second to darkest shade in the palette and just work this onto the outer corner with the same brush. I'm using um, the Zoeva, oh no I'm not, I'm using the MAC 217. Um, but use any eye blending brush that you really prefer because this will just be really great for this look. So 
So this is where your second brush would come in. I'm just using this one from Royal and Langnickel. It's actually just their crease brush, that's all it says. It's just a big fluffy one like that. Then I would just blend out the edges to keep them quite soft. I want this to be fresh and autumn-y, I guess. Okay, so with the same first transition colour, I'm going to take my 217 brush again and just run this underneath the eye as close as I can. Okay, and this is where your third brush would come in. So again, this one is from Royal and Langnickel and this is just the mini flat smudger brush. Um, but again, there are lots of different types, whatever you can work with. I'm just going to be taking one of the NAS um, Dual Intensity Eyeshadows. They're fairly new. This one is in the shade Dion. I absolutely love this. I've been using it quite a lot, hence why it's so filthy. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm going to use this wet. So what I'm going to do is just spray my brush with some Fix Plus, use water, whatever you've got. And then take a bit off and you'll see how amazing this is. all over the lid. For eyeliner I'm just going to go in with my always combination, um, my Topshop Magic Liner in black and then my Illamasqua Gel Liner. Um, this ran out on its own but I love the nib of this and how dense it is so I just can't help but use these two together as a combination. You've probably got sick of this by now on my channel but I just love it. So for my brows, I'm just going to take the Sleek Eyebrow Stylus, it's in the shade Dark. I'm just going to take the spoolie end and brush them through and do the same on the other side. You want this to be super fresh, super natural, but you still want to fill them in. Now for mascara, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic what is this? Infinite Length Effect Fibers Mascara in black. I love this mascara, it always makes my lashes feel and look super long. So now for lips, I've got an assortment of different colours um, that you could sort of pair with this look, so I'm just going to go through them all. Okay, so for a classic nude, I'm going to take Max Cream Cup. This is a really pretty pink nude. and. This is just going to be perfect for an everyday kind of look. So this just looks really nice and complimentary with the silver eyes, the really peachy pink cheeks, the autumn sort of flush, but then you're pairing it with something girly and pretty and pink. The next one is something extremely bright and it's actually the Topshop Lip Varnish in the shade Merry Go Round. This is a really, really bright, vibrant shade so you have to be careful. So yeah, if you're the sort of person that loves something really bright, really neon and standout-ish and really just fancy something that's going to make the rest of your makeup um, natural and neutral and your lips pop, then this is perfect for you. And they do other shades as well. The next one is a little bit more subtle and it's from NARS and it's their sat lip satin pencil or satin lip pencil in the shade Lodi. Lodi. This is a really pretty coral shade. I love this lip pencil for evenings or really summery, sunny day, but this is also great for autumn because you could pair this with really dark clothes and it'll just add that little pop of colour to your makeup. I would suggest, however, pairing this with a little bit more blush so that it doesn't completely wash you out. Now to a few more vampy colours. I'm going to take one of my all-time favourite and it's actually this Inglot one which I wore in my last vlog video on the talk through bits. I've had a lot of questions about this and it's just the shade 411. It's a really beautiful kind of purpley mauve shade and it's perfect for autumn winter. I would say with this one be careful because it's extremely matte and can be quite drying on the lips but then saying that it lasted through my whole meal, drinks and everything and it was still on my lips.
Another really great thing about this product, again, is that it smells incredible. For a burgundy classic, I'm going to take the Rimmel Cape Moss in 107. This is a really, really beautiful kind of deep berry wine red colour. So again with this one, I love the shade. It's going to be one of my favourites in autumn winter this year. But I would suggest also pairing this with a little bit more blush. And I'm going to add that now because my next colour is also quite bright and dark. So taking the Havana blush again with the same blusher brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit more colour onto the cheeks. The next one is a classic Lady Danger which is a true orange toned red which I always love opting for because I feel it just complements my skin tone really nicely. And this is the orange red lipstick. This is my ultimate favourite red of all time. It's Lady Danger by MAC and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this. And I think all of these looks look fantastic with the eye makeup that we created and the base and the skin. So again, this is just a really good autumn fresh look that you can pair with pretty much any sort of lipstick shade. Now these are only but to name a few, I will be doing a video very soon, well obviously I'll be doing quite a few autumn videos because I'm so excited, on different autumn berry lips, black lips, every lip that you could possibly think of will be coming your way. But I thought this would be a really fun video, a little bit different for you guys so you can visually see how it would look with lots of different lipsticks and lots of different colours. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, it would mean the world to me and I will see you in my next one.